Now, while we're still talking about royal visits, the king is off to Dubai. What's the purpose of that visit? Well, this is interesting because obviously we know that uh, the king is a lifelong environmentalist. We know he's talked you know, very avidly on the cl climate change uh, topic, but he was stopped from going to the COP27 uh, summit last year. Uh, and that was because uh, Liz Truss, our prime minister, do you remember her, just for a few, a matter of days before the government pretty much collapsed. And yet uh, uh, that was, it was pretty annoying for, for the king at the time. Liz Truss didn't think that the monarch uh, should be interfering necessarily with government policy. I don't think that that would have been Charles's um, MO at all. He just certainly has been doing that in recent years. And he's, a, you know, very, he's an aficionado on the subject. But he will be in Dubai. COP28 is coming up in a matter of weeks. And I think that when he, you look at Charles's um, you know, discussions with world leaders, how he does talk very very eloquently on uh, the subjects of climate change and environmentalism and about passing the world over for future generations. It's something that, uh, that I, I think he, he should be allowed to do and the government shouldn't be getting involved in that. And indeed, I think he does have the support of uh, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and, and, and certainly the, uh, the other hosts and guests of, uh, of the COP um, engagement. Now, on to William and Kate. Um, we've got some great footage this week of them at a charity event in Scotland. Kate in Burberry, all very British. They do active charity very well, don't they? Well, they do. Though. This is in Scotland. Uh, normally, you don't get uh, engagements taking over uh, on the or, or on the same time as uh, as big royal tours, but this is uh, this is a fantastic one up in Scotland. A real decent charity to, um, called Outfit Moray, all about getting youngsters out into exploring their uh, adventurous side out in wildlife and uh, their local surroundings. And William and Kate were there together, not only to speak about mental health. Of course, we've had that over the last few years with the Head Together Pro program um, and Kate uh, shaping us. Uh, program about young kids as well, but this was something that um, you know uniting forces, not only getting out there, being a bit more adventurous, working with children, but talking about mental health as well, and and uh, good to see them in Scotland because it's a uh, it's it's part of their job, of course, to get out and about of the four corners of the United Kingdom, and uh, and hopefully that's a sign of things to come in 2024 because it's uh, perhaps been you know a, a bit of a, a slower start than they would have wanted, and I think it's going to be a big year for William and Kate next year. And Harry, he's been appointed to an African Wildlife Park Board of Directors. We know Harry has an affinity uh, with wildlife and the environment. Is this another example of him getting on with the advocacy work we know he's really good at? Well, I think that this is a big opportunity for Harry because, you know, we've we've had a real tough couple of years in terms of the scandal and the infighting of him and his family. Um, a lot of things overshadowing the great work that he has done. I mean, you're talking about uh, the advocacy work, certainly with the Invictus Games, hugely, hugely successful project. Had that um, got the, the, you know, the spotlight shined on it that it really deserves this year? I'm not too sure. I think sometimes it can um, be overshadowed with the with the other goings on, whether that's like Winfrey interviews or Netflix series, certainly we're still all talking about his book. However, as you mentioned, uh, on the board of directors on uh, on this incredible charity now, and that is really, really important to Harry, because moving forward, I think that that will give him a lot more satisfaction than talking to the chat show hosts or writing books, because this is you know, very, very much where he's come from. We know that he had a huge affiliation with Africa, and he even said that he wanted to go and live there and be a tour guide and, and, and try to, to take himself away from the royal family. And this is, a, this is definitely a step in the right direction for him, I think. And while it's great to see Harry focus more on that advocacy, we continually hear stories of his apparent isolation in the US and him wanting to return to the UK. Is there anything to those rumours? Well, I mean, he still hasn't been here properly to, to celebrate any occasion with his family. Of course, we saw him at the coronation, um, to, to just very, very fleeting. We was here for less than 24 hours. 
Um, what's the relationship like with his father? It's still very, very strained, I understand. He won't be coming here to celebrate his uh, his dad's 75th birthday in just a matter of days. It's going to be a party at Clarence House for the King. No doubt we'll see all the royals sort of gathering there um, and enjoying the celebration. And why shouldn't Harry, Harry be there, well, one may ask. However, um, it's, it still needs to be a bit of, be, a bit of cooling of relations, I think, and, and, and moving forward. How isolated is Harry? There, there, there definitely seems to be less activity uh, with with Harry and Meghan. We haven't seen Meghan for a very, very long time. Uh, what are they trying to, to to work on in the background? Is it going to be a new book? Is it going to be a new series? I mean, we, we, we'll have to wait and see. But I think when, when you look at Harry and what his life is like now, it's obviously very, very different from a few years ago. And you talk about these uh, the, this new role on the African uh, Wildlife Board of Directors, that's surely a step in the right direction. Work with your passions work with what makes you interested in life. And I think that that, that really is true when uh, talking about Harry. Russell Myers, as always, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for your insights. Thanks very much. My pleasure.